Hi, everyone. Welcome to Royal Black and Elite. I'm Lady Trinette Wilson. Thanks so much for taking some time out of your busy schedule. Today's lecture, we're going to talk about Katherine Johnson. She is the woman who put John Glenn into orbit, and some of you may remember her from the movie Hidden Figures. She, uh, Terazi P. Henson played her, and she did a magnificent job. And I was so honored when we had some Royalers come together to help me put in the hands of little girls the Katherine Johnson doll. She's the most expensive of all of the Black History um, dolls, and I was just so honored to be able to give the girls this doll. And so thank you, Royalers. I love you guys. And so here is our lecture. Catherine Coleman Goble Johnson was born on August the 26th, 1918, in White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia. Now, her mom's name was Jolette Coleman, and her dad's name was Joshua Coleman. So, from a very early age, her math skills was off the chain. My daughter's math skills are like this, but in the accounting area. So, she was good in math and applied it to the science area, if you will, you know, now. And she was really ready for high school by the time she was only 10 years old. Do any of your children possess the math skills? Are you yourself? Are you a mathematician? So I just think it's beautiful that she had a beautiful mind like that, and especially during this time, 1918. So you know, black little girl being smart wasn't a real big thing back then, and it wasn't respected by a lot of people. But her, her dad did, and her mom respected her mind. And so because her hometown only went up, the school only went up to the eighth grade and they wanted to continue her education. So they had to go elsewhere for her to continue it. So at the age of 14, Catherine enrolled at West Virginia State College. This is a historically black institution. You all, in 1937, she graduated summa cum laude with a degree in mathematics and French. So not only did she know the numbers, but she also knew a little bit of wee-wee. And that just brings us such great pride. If you have a granddaughter or uh, a niece, a daughter even, who is good at math, encourage them. I'm telling you, my daughter, again, I was mentioning her being in the accounting field. And even before she graduated uh, college, she was already making six figures. It was it's a, such a high skill level that you have to be at, in particular in her area is forensic accounting. So kind of apropos being what's going on right now with um, all these places being looked at and audited, and for, and forensic accountants are the ones they have to call in. So if your kid has a math skill, definitely. Let them work it out because it could lead to a wonderful future. Some do it in science, some do it in medicine, some do it in research. So you have to look outside the box for your children. Never in a million years did I think that my daughter would be an accountant. I, I don't know what I thought she would be, but I didn't know all of the areas that accounting could be. I just thought of an accountant as my accountant who does my business taxes and stuff, but accounting really goes a lot further. So this is not an accounting video, but I'm just saying how math can really open doors for people and it opened doors for Catherine. Now, Catherine began her, after her education, she began her career in, I mean, computers. And if you saw that movie, it was done, I mean, impeccably, very, very well done. She joined NASA, and this was the, well, let me back up. She joined NACA. This was the predecessor to NASA as part of a segregated West Area Company's Black Women Mathematicians. And they came together, and they would, they, I mean, they these sisters were bad. Y'all, you have to see Hidden Figures to really get the fullness of what I'm talking about, to see it alive and in full bloom. And, you know, not many movies do they do justice with, you know, when it comes to um, African-Americans oftentimes, but I was really proud to see the job they did there. Put your comments down below. Have you seen it? Did you like the movie? And do you know that there is a Katherine Johnson doll? And I, I just think it's really awesome that we're honoring her life. Now, she's passed on, but I mean, this history is just rich. So here you had these black women, they were doing these, you know, calculations. And 
they were trying to calculate something and the the men who were you know responsible for that couldn't get to answer and they said listen you need to find me someone who can do these calculations and they sent Catherine over and right away they saw that she was highly intelligent and she was able uh, to do these calculations and get the the measurements that they needed and what's so beautiful about it is in the movie they de they delicately touched on some of the racism that she did encounter as a black woman in this setting and you'd be naive to think that she didn't receive any racism at all in the 1960s being in an atmosphere like this so she did but she persevered she moved on that could be a lesson to you young folk also there are times in your life that you will you will face opposition sometimes it's it comes dressed in many different ways. I'm not even going to put any titles to it. But you may suffer some opposition. But this woman kept on. And because of that, we're talking about her today on the Royal Black and Elite channel. Now, and I want to back up a little bit. I do want to talk a little bit about her personal life because she had a beautiful life. Um, Catherine married James Goebel from 1939 to 1956. And together, they had three daughters, Joylette, Catherine, and Constance. Now, after Mr. Goble passed, she married three years later, and she married a man named James A. Johnson, and she stayed married to him from 1959 to 2019. Um, and, you know, to be married that long, you have to be, I mean, you can tell she was not only intelligent, but she knew how to run her household, too. So what an inspiration to women of all races anywhere, because I think that to be able to do both of those, her story deserves to be told. Now, in 1962, astronaut John Glenn prepared to orbit the Earth. NASA had computers calculate the flight trajectory, but Glenn, he wasn't convinced. He needed to talk to what he called the girl. Well, who was that girl? It was Katherine Johnson. She manually verified the orbital equations. And only after Catherine confirmed the math did Glenn agree to the launch. Well, we as know in history, the launch was a success. Now, Catherine Johnson's calculations were also critical to the Mercury missions, Apollo 11, which landed astronauts on the moon, the space shuttle program, and return to Earth trajectory solutions. She co-authored 26 scientific papers, often receiving credit at a time when really women weren't receiving credit, and especially black women. Her work really set standards for NASA, and they relied on it for decades. For years, Catherine's contributions were largely unrecognized, but today we are recognizing her, and in 2015, she received the Presidential Medal of Freedom from President Barack Obama. So I am just proud to bring this lesson to you. NASA named the facilities and programs in her honor. And of course, the movie that I've been talking about, Hidden Figures, chronicled her life and other, the two other, uh, Mary Jackson, the other two mathematicians as well. So I am just honored to bring her story to you. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope it inspired you in some way. And as you know, my lectures are always for educational and entertainment purposes only, and the FAIR Act use is in effect. Now, there are many lessons to continue to learn down below. Will you click down below and continue learning? I hope that you have a wonderful day. Again, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you on another great episode of Royal Black in Elite. Don't forget, like, share, and subscribe. Leave your comments. That really pushes it through the algorithm, and you know I'm a human and not AI, so I appreciate you listening and supporting the channel. I am on my way to 100,000. Y'all like it, share it, get the word out about a channel that talks about the elite side of black history. Thanks for joining me.